In 1989, 17-year-old Mike O'Donnell is the greatest basketball player in high school. Before the games begin, his girlfriend Scarlett Porter tells him that she is pregnant, an aspect that seems to leave him confused. Mike plays the first few seconds of the game, then walks off the court and goes after Scarlett. He tells her he will always be there for her and that they will both raise the baby together. 20 years later, 37-year-old Mike finds his life stagnant and boring. Scarlett who is now his wife and the mother of their two children, has filed for divorce claiming that he doesn't love her. This has forced him to move in with his geeky yet extremely wealthy best friend Ned Gold. He has also quit his job after he fails to get a promotion he believes he deserves. When Mike goes back to his high school, he comes across a janitor who asks him if he would trade anything for a do-over, and he responds by saying he would give anything to go back to his high school life and rights his wrongs. Later, while driving, he encounters the janitor he had earlier come across back at the school and tries to save him from committing suicide. In the process, he is transformed into his 17-year-old self. After convincing Ned of his identity, Mike believes that this is a chance for a do-over so that he can get his life on the right track and as such, he convinces Ned to get him enrolled back in high school where he poses as Mark Gold, Ned's son. He befriends his bullied son Alex and discovers that his daughter has a boyfriend named Stan. He decides to also try and fix his relationship with Scarlett and starts by helping her to decorate the garden. He does his best to separate Stan and Maggie while also encouraging Alex to be more confident so he can make the basketball team. Mike throws a party to celebrate a basketball game win at Ned's house, where he confronts Stan, who had recently dumped Maggie for not sleeping with him. Mike gets knocked out and wakes up to Maggie trying to seduce him. He tells his daughter that he is in love with someone else and she leaves, much to his relief. Scarlett later arrives at the party worried about her kids being there, but Mike convinces her that they are fine. The two then have an intimate conversation where Mike, caught up in the moment, tries to kiss her. Scarlett storms off disgusted by Mike's actions as he unsuccessfully tries to explain his true identity to her. On the day of the court hearing to finalize Scarlett and Mike's divorce, Mike makes one last attempt to win her back where he once again poses as Mark and reads a supposed letter from Mike. Scarlett gets caught up in the moment and requests to postpone the date by a month. After he exits, Scarlett notices that the letter is actually the directions to the courtroom and she begins to grow curious as Mark knew things that only her husband should know. Mike throws in his last card during the school basketball game which Scarlett does attend. Before the game begins, he does a love signal to her, making her remember and acknowledge that Mark truly is her husband Mike. Filled with surprise and confusion, Scarlett decides to leave. As she runs away, Mike decides to chase her down, just like he did in 1989. Mike is then transformed back into his 37-year-old self, and happily reunites with Scarlett, saying that she was the best decision he ever made. The film ends with Mike back together with his wife and now has a job back at his former school as the basketball coach. Ned too has got together with the school principal Jane. Thank you for watching, remember to like and subscribe for more.